and it's a pretty obvious one. In zwischen ist es Abend. Well, it is evening. That's all you need to understand. So in and zwischen, I'm not sure. The, we have this one. Z, ZW turns into this. Um, tween. Yeah. So if I add this in between. Zwischen. Zwischen is a lovely word. Uh, you could imagine that Zwi is a short form of zwei, which is the number two. So to in order to be between something, you need at least two other things. Yeah, you cannot be between one other thing. So the zwei is contained in zwischen. Es regnet immer noch in Strömen. Well, regnen. Ronald Reagan uh, likes to likes the rain and you remember sich regen maybe from before to move so the rain is maybe called rain because it's moving all the time when it's there so immer it immer noch actually you have to see always it's not always raining uh, here you have something that belongs together uh, still it's a very german way of expressing something um, so simple as stillness immer noch Still, yeah, I'm still talking. Ich rede immer noch. So, immer noch. And in strömen, well, strömen. You say cats and dogs, we say in streams. And that's it. And by the way, der Strom that you have in the kitchen. Well, there is, there is a stream called Strom, which is a big river. But the Strom that I use to power my computer, my mobile and possibly my kitchen, that's electricity, and that's because it is streaming through your cables. Yeah, and that's what we say Strom. Very lovely association. Simone steht im Wohnzimmer von Kanzler Merkels Ferienhaus. Give you a second to digest that. Not much to explain here. We had the Wohnzimmer, we had everything else. Yeah, and Ferien, yeah, it's a house, a house for fairies. It's a house that you uh, visit in your holidays. And she is still the person of interest. She beobachtet, and we have the word achten here, which means pay attention. And if you beachten and you pay the attention in a direction, a fixed or a straight, how do you say that, in a, in a specific direction, and obacht, there's not much I, I can associate with that. So beobachten simply means to observe, and maybe the obacht and observe, that helps you to remember what that means. Yeah? But achten means not to surf, achten means to pay attention. Observe the Nachbarhaus. It's a no-brainer nowadays. Yeah. Irgendwann muss Herr Fischer doch nach Hause kommen. Irgend is a lucky thing. So, must Mr. Fischer nach Hause? Fixed expression. Yeah. It's not zu. Well, we have zu Hause and nach Hause. Allow me not to do this here. Do it later. We will have enough opportunities. So, nach Hause simply means. Uh, Home. Nach Hause means uh, towards home. Yeah. So come. So he must come home. Of course, you will not say towards home. He must come home. Yeah. The doch here you can ignore. It is simply for emphasis. It's uh, you don't translate this in this position. It has a translation, but I I talk about it when it comes. So irgendwann. So well, one means when, yeah. So or what time, yeah. There is a time by which Mr. Fisher must come home, and the irgend simply means um, some time. Yeah, it, it it's an uncertainty there, and we have irgend. We can do that with anything. Irgendwie, some, how. And you think aloud, uh, you think along while I write this. Irgendwas, some, and was is short for etwas, 
thing. Irgendwo. Some. Whoa, where? And so on. Sorry, uh, not with a T. So you can do this with all the questions. Irgendwann, irgendwie, irgendwas. And if you look up Nena, even though I'm not a big fan of her attitude nowadays, but her songs in the 80s were lovely. Irgendwie, irgendwo, irgendwann. Look it up on YouTube or wherever. So sometime there, there must be time by when Mr. Fisher comes home. Stefan ist in der Küche und redet mit Herrn Müller. Yeah, let me allow me to put the air here. So Stefan is in the Küche. Küche by now, hopefully you know the Umlaut one. In German kitchens, there's always an Umlaut. Yeah, it's really, it's 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 part of the construction. Yeah, there's no kitchen without an Umlaut in Germany. So he's in the kitchen, and he checks Reddit. Now he is uh, talking with Mr. Müller. Yeah, there's a lot of talking on Reddit. If you don't know Reddit, it's a rabbit hole, but it's at least a smart one and funny one at times. Much better than TikTok, by the way. TikTok is uh, is living hell. So, der immer noch ganz betroffen ist. So we there, there's no capital letter word here. So let's take that for now. But we are actually referring to a person. So it's actually who. Immer noch, remember, we had this before. Immer on its own means always, but immer noch means still. Somehow there's a connection, of course, between still and always. Who still, ganz, completely. Yeah, or in this sense, very. Uh, betroffen. And we have troffen here again, yeah, which meant to hit. So he's kind of hit, but betroffen is actually con concerned from yeah see or affected even affected is a nicer word so who's still very affected gerade als simone sich umdrehen will um around drehen let's see whether we get that dr dre is actually turning around all the time yeah so just now, just, and remember else, when Simone wants herself around turn, and the will here, it has to do with your will in a way, because in order to want something, you need a strong will, yeah? otherwise you don't get it. So, sich umdrehen, um, the will is at the end, and it's the one that relates to Simone, because of als. The gerade here doesn't count. It's the als. The als is a pusher, like weil, and that pushes the verb to the end. We will cover all the grammar in, in my courses. Don't worry about it. But I feed you these little bits of information as a teaser if you haven't done it yet, and if you have done it as a little reminder. Sieht sie durch ein kleines Kellerfenster. And now we had... The will from the sentence before, yeah, the whole sentence, we started with the pusher sentence and that makes it, the pusher sentence is position one and that leaves us with seed in the beginning, but it is actually not the beginning, it is position two, sees, she, and do it, you remember D and TH, yeah, it's a classic, through, through, A, Kelvin Klein, too small, Keller, Fenster, Fenster, Fenetre, is the window. So what kind of window is small? This is the one that, um, where the Kelly family lives. They have really small windows because of the paparazzis. Yeah, the Kelly family, if you don't know them, because I'm old, you might not know them. Uh, it's an old Irish music group, let's say. Big family, many kids uh, that toured Germany successfully uh, 30 years ago. So the keller is the, the basement, um, base, it's the cellar, 
that's the word maybe it's a British English word but you see seller I think it's a seller let me see yeah not wrong yeah you see the connection so what does she see through the color fence so there is actually no full stop through the fenster she sees a Licht, you know, light, shine, in this case it's a light shine, it's a little glimpse of light in the neighbor house. That was chapter 19, hope you liked it and see you in chapter 20.